Um, the thing that is different about Moo's way of life, our day-to-day -day life and other people, is one major thing is that we don't send our children to school, to the system schools. They are home schooled. So our children are there with us all the time and we take responsibility for quote unquote educating our children. And uh, our main activity throughout the day is taking care of the children and animals. We have always had a lot of animals, dogs and cats, not because we just went out and got them, but because, you know, daily we would find dogs that people had abandoned that were starving, cats that kids had tied under a car with a hanger, you know, um, cats that were almost starving or abandoned little kittens, you know, who didn't have their mother, things like that. Or people would bring us animals, you know, bring us dogs and cats and because they knew we would take care of them. They would find one dog we found in the river. One of our brothers had to, you know, pull the dog out the river, you know. Um, so that was a major part of our day, taking care you know, of life, whether it was the children or the animals, you know, or turning over the earth, the dirt in our backyard, because we composted what they call composting back in the very early days of move, you know, and people would look <laughs> at that and say, you know, we were nasty and dirty. We were throwing garbage in the backyard, you know, and then they put a cute little word called composting on it years later, and it's okay. You know, it's the in thing to do. But John Africa coordinated Move People to do that way back in the early 70s, you know? And we took a lot of flack for it, you know? But um, that was the most part of our day, getting up early, you know? Changing all the water for the animals, feeding them, running dogs in the early days of move. To this day, we take them over to the park or, you know, out to a park so they can run and, you know, exercise. That is the major part of our day, taking care of life, because when you see the importance <laughs> of life, understand the importance of life, you know, that is the priority. All this other stuff came from the system. You know, the job, that people can't stand, that they're forced to do because the system put money between us and our needs like food. The only thing you're supposed to have to pay for food is the work that it takes to get it. That's all. But the system put money between us and our food, you know, and um, we understand that. And that's why we don't want no parts of the system, you know? That's why we encourage and teach our children about life being the priority because when you really understand that, then you are intolerant of these uh, major companies and corporations that poison life, you know? So many people have asthma today. It's not an accident, it's not a mystery. When you're air that is coordinated with your lungs is poisoned, how is that not going to affect you? It absolutely will. There's no getting around it. And that's why so many people have asthma today. It's very common. It wasn't common when I was a kid, and I'm only going to be 54 years old in a month or two. You know, it wasn't common. Kids today, they don't even know what a banana tastes like, an orange, an apple. It tastes much different today than when I was a kid, you know, because we're not really eating apples and bananas today. They have genetically modified food, you know. They have done all kinds of things to food that's being grown in earth that has toxic waste in it, <coughs> and that's not going to affect the food, the taste of it, and what it's doing to your body. It's not a mystery why so many people have cancer today. 
when I was a little kid, if somebody, you heard somebody had cancer, it was like, oh my God, it was rare. It wasn't a common thing. Today, I mean, it's common. Somebody tell you so-and-so got cancer, you'd be like, oh, that's a shame. But it's no big deal, you know? But this is a result of moving away from life and life not being the priority and money and this system being the priority. John Africa moved us away from that and put us in the direction of life. And that is the only thing that is going to turn, you know, things around. Because you can't have your cake and eat it too. You can't. You know, people have a decision to make as to what is important to them, what their priority is, what they really want. And it'll be demonstrated not through words, but through action, activity, what people decide to do, you know, because um, it's serious. It's really serious. I mean, things are getting worse and worse and worse. They're not getting better, you know, because people keep trying to straddle the fence and you can't move. People can't do it. Nobody can. John Africa told us that years ago. We got to decide what we want, you know? <laughs> I mean, it's no point in supporting this system, indulging in everything that it has to offer, and then turning around complaining about it, you know? I mean, that just doesn't work. I mean, if you believe in politics, then you believe in whoever's in office, whether you voted for them or not, because that's the way it is. That's the way it goes. Move people don't believe in politics at all. You know, we don't believe in giving our power purpose over to somebody else. Can't nobody else represent you or your family. You know, you were talking earlier about community, communal living or people, you know, living the um, what the system teaches as, you know, the nuclear family and everybody do their own thing, have their own this and that. Well, none of that works. I mean, we live communally because we are a family, you know, a true family moving in one direction. And that nuclear family with everybody having their own this, that, and the other doesn't work. Doesn't work. The earth can't support it. First and foremost, you know, the earth cannot support it. And um, I mean, naturally, everybody is responsible for themselves and their family. And when their children get to the age where they can marry and have their own babies, have their own family, they would have that. But that doesn't mean anything in terms of this system, like having your own house, your own, you know, dishwasher and washing machine and all that stuff. That, that's not what that means. I mean, John Africa told us, look to life, look to animal life and you will see it. When animals have their babies, they rear them, they show them how to survive in their environment. And then when those, you know, babies get a certain point, they move away from the parents and the parents move away from them. They may not even ever see them again. You know, they grow up and they live on their own. They have their own families and they take care of their families. I mean, naturally, that's the way it's supposed to be, you know. And um, what man has created doesn't work and the proof is in the pudding.